Welcome to my three-month check-in for the Curly Girl journey. Ah, magic, magic ingredient, I tell you, I swear. <laughs> First off, I just wanna say that I have considered chopping off my hair a bajillion times. Hello, beautiful humans. If you are a first time viewer of this channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you. I wanna say thank you to all of you, first off, because I posted my first curly hair journey, girl journey video. Um, I've gotten tons of great tips, feedback, emotional support. It's meant a lot. First off, I just wanna say that I have considered chopping off my hair a bajillion times. I've literally, I wanna, I still kind of wanna do like the law bob thing. I know that the trend has passed, but I just really like the look and I've had long hair for a really long time. Whenever I think about having shorter hair, I just feel like it's a, an experience I haven't yet been able to have in my life. And life is about experiencing things. So if I go through my whole life with the same hair forever, Anyways, this is completely off topic. In this video, I want to show you some new products that I've discovered that are doing wonders for my experience now compared to the last few months, um, as well as kind of what I do from day one, two, and three. So this is day one hair. I washed it this morning, did my whole routine in the shower. If you wanna know what all the steps are that I do prior to this point, please watch my first video where I give you the very detailed step-by-step -step process. So I went to work this morning, my hair was a little damp. Good morning, I'm actually on my way to work. Just got out of the shower today, I washed out. City life. Anyways, I'm headed to work now and my hair is a little damp. I did blow dry it a little bit, put a clip in there to try and give it a little bit of body and I'll show you what it looks like at lunchtime. Now I'm on my lunch break and it's completely dry. This is the best result so far that I've had in the curly hair journey because of the products that I'm using now and the routine that I'm doing now. So I'm going to share that with you in a little bit. As you can tell, I have colored my hair. It used to have pink in it. From my first two videos, you'll see that. Part of the curly hair journey, curly girl method, is that you're not supposed to color your hair, but one thing I'm gonna say about the curly girl method and following it to a T, I don't think I'm gonna do that, really. So far I have, um, but I have colored it. And now it's back to my natural shade. And you know what? There's a single gray hair that comes in up here every few months. So I probably will continue to color my roots throughout this curly hair journey method thing. So I'm not gonna be 100% purist when it comes to this. I do appreciate though all your guys' support and comments about not giving up because I really have wanted to, but I've decided I'm gonna stick it out another month. We're just gonna go month by month here. <laughs> okay, okay. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna rewind to when I was at my third day of curls. Um, third day unwashed hair and kind of show you what I do on the third day how I kind of manage it at that point because of course day one it's gonna look the best day two looks okay by day three I definitely experience some issues with uh, the the grooming and the presentability of my hair so let's flash back to a few days ago Good morning. So this is me on day three of not washing my hair. I washed it on Monday and now it's Wednesday. I just try and see throughout the week honestly how long I can go without having to wash it again because it's such a process. But also to be honest, when I used to straighten my hair and blow dry it and all that, I've always had quite long hair and that was a process as well. So it's just a matter of either having to blow dry and straighten it in the morning or letting it air dry or diffusing it. I usually have to go to work with damp hair now because I don't have time and I don't wanna like over dry it too much. So anyways, I'll show you what it looks like day three of this process that I've been doing. You may notice I'm not wearing pants but that's because I'm in my own home and I'm not having to wear pants yet, so I'm not wearing pants yet. So when I had my shower cap in, all I did was have it in 
this hair scrunchie on the top of my head when I woke up and I just put a shower cap on and showered and did my necessary grooming activities. And now I just take it out, run my hands through it, and this is how I'm going to go to work. It's definitely still get some major knots um, underneath here down and below, but um, I actually will just maybe get a little bit of water and a comb or a pick and pick it out at the bottom because it's, it's pretty insane under there. I don't, you can't really tell, but the knots get pretty bad. It's still def definitely a style that I have to get used to, having my hair not be straight and easy to comb through and brush and style. I would definitely say the two biggest things I've learned so far that I enjoy the most out of this process is the silk pillowcase has really helped with my skin and with my sleep and with my hair I think and just not doing as much with my hair overall less is more always that's the, the biggest rule that I've learned with this kind of hairstyling the less you do the better off you're gonna be so this is what it looks like yeah Okay, I just wanted to actually share with you something else that I'm going to do this morning. I'm not just going to pull my hair out of the scrunchie and boom, go to work. Sometimes I do do that, but day three, I'm usually pushing it. My hair gets insane, like rat's nest, crazy knots underneath. My hair is a finer texture. I have a lot of hair, but it's very, very fine. So by day three, I push it to the point of like crazy crazy knots. What I do is I just take my wide tooth comb and I slowly start, I find the section that has the crazy crazy knot which is like this whole crazy fuzzy nightmare and I just start, you start from the bottom always and you start slowly combing upwards and you'll notice your hair is going to look a little frizzy fuzzy because you're running a comb through it. I honestly don't care, you can fix that. So you just keep combing slowly upwards and when you reach your knot you just work on it work on it and then you move up even further and you work on it work on it you can see that up here it's pretty bad so once you've worked out the knot and you have this big patch of like straight fuzzy hair um, you just what I'm gonna do is actually I've got my tap right here I just wet my hand a bit. I'm gonna run my hand through it with some water. And then I have argan oil, and I'm not gonna recommend any brand to you because argan oil is argan oil. Put a little dime size in my hand, and I'm gonna run it specifically through that fuzzy part there, really towards the ends especially because they're like the fuzziest. And I don't really care if it's a little, a little extra oily because I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow morning or tonight anyway. So, see it's already looking better and less frizzy. So I just run my hands through it. And then just take a little bit more. Ignore the large chunk of hair that just came out of my head. Start with a little when it comes to oils and stuff and then add more, add more. Because once you've gone too far, you can't really rewind. So I hope that helps if you have um, knots, you tend to get knots like I do. Um, usually I'm okay for the first few days, but like I said, day three is like knot city. Now I've got to go eat breakfast because I'm running behind and clean up all the hair that's on my floor in the bathroom because of course I'm married to someone who hates hair. I mean, who likes seeing hair on the ground? I don't think, I don't even like seeing my own hair, but Skylar's really has an adverse reaction, so I gotta clean this up, so see you later. So welcome back to my bathroom. I'm home from work now. It's actually around seven o'clock at night, and I need to have a shower and wash my hair tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning before work, I'm gonna have my shower. So when that time comes, I like to try and do, if I'm able to, do a hair mask. Now, I want to apologize to everyone who watched my first video because in my first video, I 
told you guys that you could do a deep conditioning treatment to your hair using coconut oil. But after further doing more research, I've realized that that's not the best thing. A lot of hairstylists anyways, it's a controversial, um, it's a controversial, it's a controversial A lot of hairstylists have told me that coconut oil can be damaging to your hair. It can actually strip your hair of like, if it's colored or anything like that. It's not the best treatment for hair. I'm just learning just as much as you guys are. Um, this is my my journey as I go, so I'm just filling you in on things I learned along the way. If you watched the first one, now you're watching this one, it's okay, I use coconut oil too, but I'm not going to do that anymore. And actually what I've picked up is um, Jamaican black castor oil. It's a great leave-in treatment, and you can also use it on a regular basis to kind of add moisture to your hair. For me, it's a pretty heavy, thick oil, and my hair is very, very fine, as you can see. If I use this on a regular, daily basis, it would just weigh my hair down. It'd become really stringy and greasy, and um, probably the curl would fall out completely or the wave. So, I just use it as a conditioning treatment. This was like, I think, $8 to buy, and the thing with the curly hair products that I do want to say is like, yes, you're going to be spending a little bit more, but you only use the products once every few days, am I right? So you don't actually go through them as fast. Now I was recently on holidays in Mexico. <laughs> and um, the one product that I brought with me that was awesome that I've started to use since my last video is the Diva Curl Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. It has been the most effective product that I've used so far in my curly hair journey. Um, I mentioned in my first video I had the Diva Curl Believe In Texture and Volume Cream and this has ended up not being uh, a great product for me. It's too heavy, it just weighs my hair down and makes the wave fall out. Um, I also wanted to share with you guys a couple of products that I've been using, that I'm going to be using tomorrow morning when I wash my hair. So. Um, I'm not someone who's gonna tell you to go out and buy all this Diva Curl stuff. For me, I'm like right in the middle when it comes to spending money on beauty products. Actually, a little like here's the middle. There's like people who know how to do makeup and hair, and then middle, and then I'm about there. There. Curel. This is a conditioner. Um, this bottle was twelve dollars. It is a little more pricey. But this is a brand that's in Vancouver, Canada. I bought it at a health food store. Um, it just It's an all natural product, doesn't have the silicones, parabens, and sulfates. The Live Clean brand. This is the shampoo I've been using since the beginning of my fitness journey. This is the shampoo I've been using since before my hair journey. Skylar and I are very sensitive to scents. And this is a hypoallergenic shampoo. It's scent free, but it's also sulfate free, paraben free and silicone free. Maui Moisture. Now I kind of have to sneak this one because it actually smells a lot. <sighs> it smells like coconut and suntan oil and ugh. vacation. That's what it smells like. So when Skylar goes away on a work trip, that's when I bring out this guy. And I've also used this as a hair mask as well. It smells amazing also quite affordable, so you can always give this one a try. So now I'm going to be putting this on my hair and I'm probably gonna sleep with it on and then to do that, I'm going to sleep with a shower cap. This is where this microfiber towel can come in handy, especially the one with the button and everything because I'm gonna wrap it over the shower cap to make sure that no oil gets into it the bed and my pillowcase and stuff like that. So I have crazy knots underneath here that I need to be detangling and that's going to be the goal of leaving in the hair mask. So I will show you how it looks tomorrow. Look, it's so much curlier. Ah. Magic, magic ingredient, I tell you, I swear. All right, so here we are. Day one, hair is washed, recently done. 
yeah, the mousse is really what's changed it for me. I haven't used any other mousse than the Diva Curl foaming whatever one, so that is what saved me in this curly hair journey because I wanted to give up, people. I wanted to give up. I'm so glad I tried it. It's literally made it so much easier. I just put like a couple of pumps in my hand and this is how it turns out. One product, one product, and I'm back in the game, people. I'm back in the game. If you know of another mousse that's silicone free, paraben free, sulfate free, please comment below because I don't want to be someone that's like committed to a single brand and I'd love to try other ones, especially if they're more affordable. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and being a part of this journey with me. I know a lot of you are starting your journey around the same time as me, which is totally fun. And so we can keep checking in with each other and see how we're doing. <sighs> now I'm gonna go eat some lunch and go back to work and I will see you guys in my next check-in. No, babe. You go back in there. Going upstairs. I'm not done. Going upstairs. Can't force me in a room. <laughs> you made your appearance. Um.